So what if I were to tell you that it's possible to grow another pineapple from a pineapple top? If that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you stick around for this video. So guys, welcome back to Green Farms Garden. My name's Alex, and if this is your first time here and you love gardening videos, horticulture, ornamental plant care and DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single video. So if you've ever wondered if it's possible to regrow a pineapple top, then you wondered correctly. You absolutely can regrow a pineapple top that will grow and develop into another plant that will in time produce another pineapple. In this video, we're gonna do that together. We're gonna to prepare this pineapple top and go through some of the points that'll give you the very best chance to have success. Then we're gonna report this pineapple top that we started about four months ago. It's doing awesome and it's in desperate need of a report. We'll depot this, show you the roots that have grown inside. Once we've got it potted up, we're gonna pull off and tidy up some of these scrattered leaves, make it look a bit more presentable and tidy. So for you to have the very best chance of success when attempting to grow a pineapple top, it all starts with the choosing of the pineapple. We need to find the very freshest pineapples we can, whether you're getting your pineapples from the store, supermarket or market, we need to get the freshest possible. This is going to be a main factor whether we have success or we fail. When you're at the store and you're inspecting that pineapple, don't be afraid to give the leaves a little tug. Don't tug too hard because you will pull the leaf out, but give them a nice gentle tug. And if they come out easily, then rot has already set in and it's probably already too far gone, the pineapple, to, to sustain any growth. We want to also check the centre. Is the centre nice, green? Is it starting to brown at all? Sometimes supermarkets take out the centres. Don't waste your time with them pineapples. Make sure the centre's good. Give the little leaves right in the centre a little tug. Also, see if they're nice and sturdy inside. If the centre's already looking shoddy, weak, like it's on the verge of dying, then it's gonna be no good for the purpose of trying to regrow this pineapple top. We want the very best pineapple that you can find. So when you've found a good candidate, and that's gonna be the hardest part, the only thing we need to do is screw this top off like that, save this for eating, and then we wanna just start pulling back these leaves. When you start pulling back these leaves, pull them back like that and then we don't damage any of the little roots that you'll see growing inside. And you can see the roots that it's already started growing under that pineapple. Their roots already growing and they're going to help sustain a little bit this top and hopefully we can continue to encourage them to grow. Look, we've got a bit of rot here already which is not a good sign. I've had this pineapple on my kitchen worktop for five days. I, I was supposed to shoot this video five days ago. This top looked fantastic when I first got it. And um, things have just been getting in the way. So we want to peel the leaves back to about there just before it starts dipping in, you'll notice. Now, if you do see a bit of rot on the bottom, we're just going to chop it off. Otherwise, we wouldn't bother. But I've left this a bit too long waiting to make this vid. So we're just gonna chop that rod off. And if you like, we could also take an additional step and add a bit of cinnamon to help fight back any bacteria and rot. Or you could use a little bit of rooting hormone, but I haven't got any handy. So let's just give a bit of cinnamon on that. It's not necessary though, but it will help a little bit. Next, we just want to take a pot with some potting soil in it, nothing special. And we're going to plant our pineapple top about two centimetres, centimetre and a half. We don't want it too high, otherwise it could encourage rot. But we just want it 
about there. That's where the few little roots that there is are going to try and get some water. And then we're just going to pack it around like that. Then I'm just going to stick a stick right next to it to keep it from toppling over. Then we're just going to take a bit of cordage and tie our pineapple to this stick. That'll give it a bit of anchorage until we see some roots growing. And there, that's all there is to it. In the past, I used to actually give them a day or two to dry out, to let that soft bit of tissue, former skin, dry up a little bit so that it was less prone to getting infected by fungus and bacteria. But the problem was that it just served to give the plant time to dry out, lose more life, and they failed more than I had success. So since then, I've not been bothering with that step. I've been putting them straight in like this one without letting that flesh cure. And I've noticed I've had more success just getting them straight in. So I don't bother with that step anymore. So you need to be aiming to keep the center dry. Do your best to avoid getting water in these little pockets when you're watering the plant. Also don't leave it outside in the rain. It's going to get water in the center. That'll cause the plant to rot and die pretty fast. We're aiming to keep the soil also moist, but not wet. If we keep it too wet, then there's more chance that fungus will take over. And again, the plant's going to die. So we just want to give it a little bit of water, let it dry out a little bit, and then give it a little bit more. And that's all there is to it. We just need to now find a nice bright spot where we can put our top somewhere it'll get nice bright but indirect sunlight. Direct sunlight and hot temperatures are just going to serve to dry up this top too fast and it'll not be able to keep itself hydrated while it's trying to take in moisture. We need some roots for that so keep it in a nice indirect spot for now. Somewhere it'll be protected as well from rainfall. We don't want to be getting our centre wet. And remember, don't get disappointed if your pineapple top fails. If at first you don't succeed, what, what's the song say? You've got to try, try again. It's normal that you're going to have quite a few that fail. Just keep going and going. Sooner or later, you're going to get a strike. You're going to hit one and it's going to have success. That's all part of the fun. That's all part of the game. It makes it even more awesome when you get one to take and it's all going to depend remember on how fresh your pineapple is. So I've waffled on for quite a bit so let's repot our pineapple top which well it's turned into a plant and it's in desperate need for a repot. We're going to depot this now show you the roots that's managed to form. Okay let's take this pod out. We're just going to massage the sides. Oh wow. Look at the roots here. That's amazing, eh? From a store-bought pineapple. Huh, wow. That's what makes gardening so much fun. So let's, we're gonna pull all these leaves off here now. We wanna open it up. Let some, let some air get around here, you know? So we're just gonna give it a little peel back, little trim. Just pull back some of these leaves. That's it. Lovely jubbly. So let's fill up the new pot. We've got potting mix mixed with about 10% sand. That'll keep the soil nice and drainable. Keep it nice and light as well. So we'll just pop our pineapple in its new pot. We want to position it a little bit so it's looking nice and straight. And then we'll pack it in. 
looking wonderful. Oh, look at that. This is a MD2 pineapple. It's Milli Dillard hybrid from um, Del Monte pineapples. I started it, look, on the 21st of the 7, 21. So about four months ago. You can find what type of pineapple it is when you're in the supermarket. If you look at the side of the box where the fruits are, normally it's got a little ticket there. And if you look at the, the variety, it'll tell you what the variety is. And that's an awesome little way to then collect different varieties. This one we hear is another Del Monte pineapple, but it's honeyed law. So we've got another nice little variety there. In fact, we're gonna replant this honeyed law as well. We did it in the 12th of X September and look at the roots that have formed already on this one. So I don't want to impede its growth. I prefer to, well, while we're doing the job, let's get it in its new pot. Lovely jubbly. So even though our pineapple tops now are showing some lovely signs of growth, they're doing quite well, we still want to avoid getting water in the centers. At this stage in their life, water in the centers could still cause the plant to rot rod away the center and it'll be all over. So our main objective for our pineapple tops is that well they grow and eventually produce pops. Not them kind of pops, we're talking about new divisions that grow from out of the center of the plant. These divisions can be separated from the mother plant, put into pots and they'll grow a lot more faster, be more vigorous, more healthy and produce full-sized pineapples. Whoa, what do you mean green from full-sized pineapples? Well, the pineapple that you get from these tops, well, firstly, it's gonna take up to three years before it probably starts producing that fruit. And when it does produce a fruit, well, it's gonna be a mini one. I have no idea why. I mean, if you're a pinatologist, uh, or you know why that pineapple tops produce a, a small version of a pineapple, then be sure to let us know in the comments. I couldn't find out the answer. But that mini pineapple, well, it's gonna be spectacular. It's gonna taste great and it's gonna look fantastic. So when our plants eventually grow pups or suckers, those pups are gonna be much more resilient, gonna be more vigorous. They're gonna grow a lot faster and they will produce full-size pineapples in about 18 months. So think of the mini little pineapple that you get from your tops as being an awesome little tasty reward for reaching level one of this pineapple game. But it's not going to be our main objective. Our main objective is going to be to get our tops to produce pups, which then we can divide and basically have an unlimited supply of little pineapple plants that can produce us pineapples. Once we get that, then we're going to be laughing. So guys, let me know how you get on and be sure to share your pictures with me if you want on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description. I'd love to see how your pineapples get on and let me know in the comments how you get on as well if you've got any questions. Be sure to label up your pineapples so you can keep an eye on the varieties that you have as well. That's always fun, collecting different varieties. As always, it's been fun to be able to catch up with you guys. If you want to support the growth of the channel, the only thing I ask is hit that like button. Helps YouTube to know that people enjoy my content. And if you want to go an extra mile, then share this video with your social media profiles, whatever you use to get that video out there to reach a wider audience. If you do that, that would be fantastic. Until next time, guys, hope you're all well. I'll see you next time.